Before the video starts, guys, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to reach 3,000. You get to choose the SH Figures Goku, or you get to choose any of these Playmate Toys figures right here. Really cool figures. So, yeah. So, when we reach 3,000, we're going to give away for one of these items. So, let's continue back to the video. Hey guys, Starbucks and guys, we're finally going to be talking about the new Prime 1 Studios Berserker Armor 1 3rd scale guts right here. Sorry I'm a little bit late talking about it, but here we go. And wow, this piece right here is amazing. We got more pictures, we got the bonus items, and we also got the price. And dang, I did expect this price because lately they're 1 3rd, so lately I've been crazy. $1,600, and that's a lot of money. The old one the one old third um scale figure of the black swordsman that was 1300 so this one right here is giving me 300 dollars more and dang that's a lot of money i'm not gonna lie um i don't know how i feel about that it's just it's a lot of money even like the regular version for the one third right here um it was right here i think it was like around yep 1100 it did came with less stuff but that price point for a one third was pretty crazy and for this one if you just want the normal one that's actually still expensive. That's going to be 1450 And you still need to pay shipping and everything. And that's going to be even more crazier. Um, if you're probably going to buy this at Sideshow, if it does pop up there, expect to spend two grand if you're going to get this piece. So that's one of the one things right there. I am expecting the cost. And as for me, I'm still thinking about it. There still hasn't been the announcement of the, um, the Rage one right here. And so far, this is the Unleash Edition. And the Unleash Edition looks amazing. Amazing here, of course, are the pictures. Um, the really cool piece, really awesome. Most likely, we'd be tempted to get this one, or if they do announce the new one, I guess we'll wait and see. But here, right here, is the bonus part right here. It looks like to be a swap out um, head right here. It looks okay, it just looks like the same one as it came with the one third, but his um, hair is painted. Um, looks pretty decent, not too bad right there. You can see here, right here, his face, um, pretty interesting, but I think the best part with the statue is, of course, um, right here, just how big this piece is. It's insane how big this thing is, 47 inches tall if you have the sword up, and that is crazy right there, and it looks really amazing. The height is insane, so I would say this piece is amazing that's one of the reasons made this price point so high is because of the detail um you can see of course the heads right here in the base it's insane um really quick is actually look at the um detail right here for the sword and um the cape oh yeah here's the cape and you can see right there the detail right there the weathering looks amazing you can see right here the dragon slayer with all the detail right there incredible really cool piece uh, right there um see right there more pictures of course the brand of sacrifice lights up and here is the apostles and wow that looks really really uh, gross right there i'm not gonna lie it's amazing he's on top of it right there it does give it a couple more inches that looks really cool you can see the eyes you can see the teeth the tongue um the the sharp teeth right there and some of these incredible right there so for me i think the base right here is perfect i think it's way better than the last one for sure i think that right there is incredible really creepy looking too the other thing is you do get of course a lot of different parts for this statue different hand poses um i'm trying to find the picture right here there we go so if you're gonna buy the regular one for 1450 the only thing you're gonna be getting right here is gonna be this regular portrait right here and the regular sword up and that's actually pretty crazy that the sword up is the regular but if you get the deluxe you get the sword oh just lost the picture back got the picture but here's of course the deluxe ones right here the sword down and the sword of course on top of of course the zombies right oh not zombies i'm sorry the apostles so that's really cool right there um the deluxe ones here come with these little bust of course pieces right here for the extra heads and that's really cool you can see the portraits right here of guts right there doing that grin amazing one right here is of course cocky right there awesome of course portrait right there and the regular one right there just a regular face of him so that looks really cool uh of course better pictures of the portraits really awesome the thing this right here is my favorite really cool uh, the detail and it's insane so i would say this is really cool and here's a better picture right here with the sword down and right here with the different portraits and that's amazing right there uh here's of course some other pictures without the uh, cape right here you can see more detail in the back a uh, strap right there some of course bags right there look really cool uh lights up of course base right there here's of course another picture of the deluxe right there and the other one right here this is a new one 
one right here is pretty cool. We do get a lot of swap outs, and that's amazing right there. I actually do love that one a lot, but I really want to know the depth for that. Uh, I think it, it actually sadly does not. I was going to say the depth on this one, but it does not say the depth of the sword down. So it only shows the depth of the sword um, up. And I think it's around like 16 inches depth. And I think with the sword uh, width, with the sword up, I think it's around like 27, 26 inches. And that's pretty crazy. So I would say this piece right here is incredible. Really, really cool. Uh, for me, I might weigh into the rage. Then I'll see which one to get. And the other thing is, if I do get one, I'll probably weigh into it comes out, see the reviews, and I might pick it up. It's just right now I'm collecting the one four skill line. I'm a little bit like, do I need the one third? Um, I really want one. I really do. Uh, I, I just get away and see. But so far, this piece is amazing. Definitely, if you're a Berserk fan, if you don't have one, this is a really cool one. It's just the other thing right now I'm a little bit stuck on. It's just that they make so many Berserker armors. It's annoying now because I have the original and they, uh, they released the uh, unleash and rage version of the one fourth and then they reissued the one i have and it's just like come on like which one do i even do now do i just buy them all but not really it's just too much money it's just it's really difficult it's just they made too many reissues too many remakes of the berserker armor they should really do some other ones like golden age uh that'd be really cool stuff like that i think they should have not reissued that other one cause especially already got the rage on an unleash version it just makes no sense and then the one third right here is a berserker armor i know it's cool but come on too many berserker armors but minus that i think the piece is amazing it's really cool the price point is a lot of money um the thing is it does come with yeah it does come with two boxes it makes more sense so most likely shipping is around like 300 to uh, 400 dollars most likely for this piece and that's gonna be pretty crazy so that's of course my thoughts for that one more thing is that right here in this picture I actually does not show it when i click on it uh, but right here you can see a picture right here of zod there's just one thing i found right here that was very interesting you can see the apostle of course zod right here it looks like to be that um, non-scale one technically it's close to one fifth people are saying and it looks a little bit different um you can see right here that you can see only one of the horns and you can see the hand is of course doing some kind of like uh grip thing and the thing is there's compared to the original is that you can see right here in the picture his hand is up leaning against this wall right here so i don't know if they're gonna do a remake it might just be like a little edit they could just flop it and they just took out the second horn so it looked like the newer version but i guess we'll wait and see that could be another one but to be honest from seeing um the last time and it was pretty expensive i think shipping was on that thing it was really crazy but i guess we'll wait and see there was also supposed to be another version with wings on their video showing it on some of the i think the original design was supposed to come with wings they could do that but to be honest i think it'd be way too much too much expensive for this piece right here but i guess we'll wait and see it could happen but yeah but i can't wait for of course this piece and to people get enhanced it's gonna be really cool to see videos on it and i'm really hoping they announce the other version the rage edition because that one right there looks really cool and i really want to know if that other portrait that leaked of his hair down is going to be the exclusive for that that one but that's of course today's video guys hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time bye